G'day guys, Matt Prittis here. Today I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks and put you in the mind of Scotty Selwood on when he's playing on some of the elite midfielders of the competition. Two Selwood brothers, you can see there, head to head, Scott's got the tagging role, big brother Joel. So when Scott Selwood's playing on an inside midfielder, he's more than likely going to fight for front position. When he's doing that, he's taking the, the space away from their best midfielders and trying to get in the way between the ruck contest and his opponent. Knocked down to Scott Selwood. On the flip side, when he's playing on one of the quicker opponents, more agile sort of midfielders, he'll probably play them from behind or to the side, and he'll really try to focus on his body work to try to keep him away from the contest. Jarred, not quite, still there, and wants to force his way through, and the Eagles get all over the top of their former champions. If you're a player who's been targeted by the opposition to have a run with player with you, the most important thing is that you play to your strengths. So if you're an inside player, you look to try to get him to as many contests and as many stoppages as you can and you work him over inside. If you're a great runner like an Andrew Gaff, you're going to try to run him to as many contests as you can, work him up and back until you know you run him into the ground. He's been terrific, just brought down. Your teammates can really help you out. You need to use your voice when you're approaching them so they can put some body pressure on him, put some blocks on the stoppages and really help you out during general play. Pushing hard to try and find a way through. Oh, Brilliant, it was gone before they knew. I hope those tips and tricks help. If you are a player who has been followed by the opposition, that's a great sign because you've got respect of your opponents. So you just remember, play to your strengths and work as hard as you can.